I'm 49 years old and a lifelong patriot. I remember as a child learning about the Cold War and being taught that we in the West had the moral high ground because the Soviets detained people without benefit of trial or charge in secret prisons called gulags. I remember hearing about how Soviet citizens were sometimes disappeared. I remember being told about our Constitution and its protections, including the Sixth Amendment right to a speedy and public trial. I remember how police dramas always showed prisoners, no matter how heinous, being read their rights under the Miranda decision. I remember coming to respect the Founders for having the foresight to include such a basic right, and I understood how perfectly it encapsulated the notion of innocent until proven guilty, which was a hallmark of a civilized society. Tyrants, I understood, imprisoned people on speculation. Democracies erred on the side of caution, as a person's freedom was the most sacred thing a republic could defend. Then came the Bush years, and 9-11, and rendition, and Guantanamo, and the war on terror. I mourned for the Constitution and feared for the future. And then came Obama, and hope, and change. Hope? Change? Congress has just passed the 2012 Defense Authorization Act, an annual budgeting bill which this time holds a surprise. Basically, it declares the Sixth Amendment no longer valid in the U.S. It states that the President now has the legal right to continue doing what Bush did illegally for years. It gives the President the privilege of being unfettered by jurisprudence, purely on his say-so. It throws out habeas corpus and the right to trial and the right to a defense, and by ignoring the Fourth and Sixth Amendments, not to mention the Seventh, Eighth, and Ninth, it, by virtue of ignoring it, fundamentally throws out Article Five of the Constitution. Allow me to be blunt. We no longer have a Constitution the minute the President signs this bill into law. We already have martial law in the streets of Boston, L.A., New York, and several other major U.S. cities. We already have a police state in our airports where deputized thugs have been given carte blanche to detain you without cause. We already have a subjugated proletariat and a protected class of nobles. But now, as of the passage of this trash legislation, we no longer have a constitution that's worth the vellum it's printed on. This was our government who did this, Democrats and Republicans both. While we were busy protecting our guns on the right and defending our voice on the left, they sneaked in and stripped away everything else from the middle. The United States of America, 1776 to 2011. R.I.P. and Merry Christmas.